Right guys, so today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this, the old wizard guy, and a piece of Don Redwood. I'm going to show you how you can get the images easy. We use the Google images, uh, most of them is copyright, but I'll show you where you can get the free images. And then just search for what you're looking for, print it out, carve it up. I'll show you how I put the images onto the wooden stuff as well in this video, so hopefully it helps a couple of people. I'll try and show you how I carved this little wizard. I didn't do super details on his face or nothing like, but it was just I wanted to get a quick video done to show basically how you can get an image onto a bit of wood and then carve it. So. Here we go guys, enjoy. Just go to freeimages.com Find yourself an image. And I just changed the image to black and white. Make it two different sizes. That's an A4 page, you can do three sizes. Just two sizes roughly, what you think's gonna fit on your piece of wood. But I always change it to black and white because it's a lot easier to see. Right, now I have it printed out and check a bit of wood. So that one's going to fit on the wood. What we do now is going to cut this out. So now I've got this all cut out. And what we're going to do is going to clean the bark off this just very gently, just on the bark. So I just used the one eighth cuts all there, just to take the bark off that. You can see, look at the colour in that. It's beautiful. That's that giant sequoia, redwood. That's really nice. So what we're going to do now is, you want to get yourself some of this. Pret stick. So, make sure you get all around the outside. Just a nice wee thin coat over it. That's all we need. Get the wood. I'm sort of looking to see where's his head going to be with that nut. I'll put the nut here. Maybe get it in his eye. There we go. I have an old rag here that we use for stuff. If you just get an old rag or a cloth and just lean on it. Just try and push out all the creases, make sure it's well stuck down. And what it say is just leave that. That's a pret stick. Just leave that sitting on it. Leave it for about 15 minutes and it'll be spot on. So about 15 minutes that there will be Perfect, it'll dry in, stay on it, and then I'll show you all what to do. Get the burrs and cut around the outside, and I'll show you how to do the details. Pretty easy, well, hopefully. So, here we go. On to the next bit. Here's a tip for you guys don't try and cut with your burr this way and pull down the way because the way the burr spins around that way, it actually flicks the paper up off it. So, what you want to do is carve. When you're carving around the paper, keep your burr pointing to the left. Well, I do because I'm right handed. You keep the burr to the left and carve this way. The burr spinning this way, so it cuts it off nice and clean along the outside. So what we're going to do is run right around the whole outside of this. And I'd run that way when I'm cutting. I'm not cutting this way, like I say, because the burr will flick the paper off. But you'll get used to it if you cut it this way. 
So I'm just going to cut around the whole outside of him. Around the outside of the stick, the whole way right round. And I'm going to cut it about two cuts all bars deep. That's the intention, so. I'm just going to get stuck in. and Don't worry about the inside yet. We're just going to cut the whole outside of it out. And then we'll see how we're looking as I cut it out and going to feather it away. So, we'll see how it go. Oh, okay, guys. And we'll keep her going. So don't worry about the outside yet because we're going to round all that over. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go in and cut wee, with a wee thin bar loads of the, the, the outside of the a hand, in, outside and inside of the hair, sort of. You'll see, we'll do all the details now. Right, guys, this is what I'm going to be using now. It's a high speed bit, a Dremel. From it's an axle Dremel bit. You can see the size of it there. That's what I'm going to use now. We're going to go around and cut all the details, all the blacker parts. Just cut around the outside of the staff. We'll cut in the deep bits where these are. Not worried about rounding nothing over yet. Just going to cut it all in. So here we go. Right guys, now I've just cut in all the rough details, what we do now is I'm going to get a wee sanding weed, or you can use one of them there, either way it doesn't matter, maybe you have a buff, a buffing weed, so you can use any one of them, just take a paper off, just run over it gently, most of it will pull off with your hand leg, but just give it a wee quick run over with one of them. You're good to go. So you can see the grain on that. Give it a wee bit of a sanding. Green starting to come out. What we're going to do now is just grab a pen and draw on the details again. Just the main bits of the outside of the stick, the outside of where the hand is. Draw the hand on and then we'll cut this, the outside of it all now. So, there you go. Right guys, you can see there, I just drew around the outside everything. Just very rough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cuts all on and really cut this bit down now so that the arm sticks up. Cut into here and sort of the outside of it. I'll just round the outside of it off. Same as this, this is the hair that just needs rounded off now and left to where it touches the wood. I can cut this in deep, cut that right down the side of the staff with the cuts all bar. 
and that'll be deep enough for the cloak and then I'll fan it up in here and cut round the hand and they're just getting cut in nice straight lines the way the cloak goes same way this outside bit's just going to get cut off in lines because that's rounded off I'm going to cut down the side of the staff either side first I'm going to cut that lower then I'll just round it off and I'll come in and detail cut it all like but now I'm going to really just make the cloak using the cuts all bar give it a bit more shape I've just got the real details but it doesn't have to be perfect like the picture the picture is just a reference image at the end of the day it's going to be your own carving anyway so what I'll do now is like I say I'll get the cuts all I'm going to cut around the outside of the arm either side and outside of the staff and I'll let them stand up and I'll lower this and then we'll just flow this all down the way and the back half here gets a couple of wee flows put in it. that needs cut down lower and then this side just gets smoothed off here that, that bit actually goes in behind this so I'll cut that in lower here too now I'll we'll put the cuts all on and I'll sort out all of, all of the cloak and see how we're looking but that's a beautiful piece of wood so we'll keep her going here guys on that cuts all now don't worry about the face yet I'll sort that out in a minute guys so you can see now I've got loads more the deeper bits all cut into it I'm just going to go on now and just going to draw my own face my own beard get a wee small bar out and just go and undercut all this for now I'll define the face and the beard here cut in round where the hair and the head and all this here now I'm going to redraw that on just round off the back of the hand I'm going to undercut just round the outside of the staff and round the arm and stuff maybe undercut round the whole outside of it or there's a few deeper parts here where the cloak goes down in but the next bit's what makes it I'm starting to do the details on it now but it's all good guys let's keep her going that's how we're looking You go guys just drew in some details just roughly where I'm gonna cut now and I'm gonna use a wee small dremel bit just a wee small uh, metal cutting sphere and run right now and give us a wee bit of detail do lots of undercuts but you'll see it starting to, it'll come alive now we'll keep it going So I just went round undercut it all. Now 
you're starting to get your own wee wizard. I'll gotta do nice, put a wee diamond tip bar on. Run around, stick some on uh, details. The see wee detail on the face, detail the hands. Maybe do a couple more undercuts with these here. And uh, it's almost good. Now I'm gonna give it a wee stain and sand up a highlight. And maybe try and just stain him and leave the outside of it, but I'm gonna cut through the face here now and then we'll cut the hair in. Maybe put some wee strokes into this staff, make it look like it's wood. And we'll do the wee details and the hands and stuff. So I think it's looking alright. Alright, so keep her going. Nearly done. Alright, now I've got a diamond tip. I'm gonna just run over the edges. Try and round the arms off, round to fix a hand. Just do a wee bit of detail on the face and then I'll change down to the smaller bar, but just gonna run over it now with this diamond tip. Do some more detail. Well, there we go guys. Got lots of details cut in. Got the hand cut in. Around the outside of the wee staff. And done most of the cloak, so. I think he's looking alright. Nice wee Don Redwood uh, wizard. There we go. I'm just going to stick the oil on it now. I've sanded that up to 200 grit. So it's pretty nice. I'm probably going to just stick mineral oil on it. Just to see what way it goes. So I'm going to get a page. Now I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this uploaded. Yeah, here we go guys. Just gonna wag it on. Oh, that's the magic. <laughs>